So let's do a plaster texture. Now we don't actually see much of this plaster. In fact, we hardly see any of it, but it is there. And we're just going to create one quickly, uh, partly because it's fun. So let's go to textures.com again. And let's look at plasters. Plaster, sorry. And they've got some really wicked plasters going on here. I think I'm just going to grab this one. This looks pretty nice. This is the diffuse. I'll have to uh, make this less obvious, you know? Like I want it more like this. So let me put this in at a tiny amount. And this is like your bump. Let's call it height. And we get a normal. Let's use a normal in there because I've not used one of these yet. So let's download that normal. Just save that. Download this one. Save that. This is roughness. You can download roughness. Save that. All right. So let's take these. And this says it's concrete. So we're just going to put it in concrete. So we're going to go stone. Concrete. Paste them in here. And we've got them here at the end. All right. Let's go back to Max. And we'll take this. Open the material editor. And it really depends what sort of concrete you want to create. So I want one which is not very reflective. So I'll take this and drag, drag and drop this over here. I love the naming conventions. This says albedo in it here, you know, albedo.tiff and diffuse.tiff. And they're basically both the same. If you look at what albedo means, if you come here and you go define albedo, I, it's got the proportion of the light that is reflected by a surface, typically that of a planet or moon. So <laughs> it's like, okay, how much light is reflected by the surface? That's what they're taking for it. That's why they're calling it albedo. It's not how much light is being reflected by the planet or by the moon. It's they're looking at how much light, as in light hits the surface and what colors bounce off it, which is the same as diffuse, you know? When they talk about the diffuse in, in for your V-Ray material, it is... So it's the same with diffuse. Diffuse is the basic color of the shader. So that's like when light hits it, what light does it absorb and what light does it reflect into the scene? You know, not into the scene, but what light does it reflect that you then see? So that's why it's the basic color. So albedo and diffuse are both the basic color of the, of the material. So I'm going to put that on there, make this visible get this assigned. We're going to make this, I don't know, use real world scale, let's say 3000 by 3000. Big enough that you won't see it tiling. And we can chuck a UVW map on here and just call it box real world scale. Maybe drop this down. I think if I drop this down to, I think I'll get away with 1.5, but I'm going to drop it down to 2.5. And here you can see how that comes through there. So, so you could rotate this. If you like, you can put it something like that and you'll be good to go. And the other thing you can do is do the same as we did before. I'm just going to collapse this here to an edit poly, put an unwrap on top and just open UV, UV editor. I don't think you actually need to do this because you hardly see this texture, but it's more to show you how to do it. And we're just going to click here. You don't actually need to click on rescale. You can just click here on pack. And it's just packed it in there nicely. Okay, see here? See the Alright, let's try this again. Open UV editor. Okay, so as you click on this each time it repacks it. So you can do that until you're happy that you have this in the correct position. And I don't really see this tiling here. So that's good. All right, I'm just going to shift and drag this down, put this into reflection, double click on this, open this up, delete down here past albedo, and we've got normal. All right, let's use normal. Sorry, click on this. And what you want to be doing is click override, get that to one, click open. This is going to go in the bump. So take this and just drag this across uh, maps, 
V-Ray. And then here we're going to go uh, V-Ray normal map. Let's put that straight in there and put this into the bump. And then in this case, like this bump is how much of a bump does it have? I've heard people before say, oh, set it to 100 all the time for a normal map. That's not necessarily true. And here I'm less likely to drink to drag this blur down below one because I'm more likely to get artifacts with a normal map. And sometimes a normal bump map, like just a general normal black and white bump map is better than this, but we'll play with this and get this looking nice. So in this case, I want to see what this looks like. So I'm just going to render like this. And I know there's no floor, there's no ceiling. I've got light coming from everywhere. So let me just unhide by name. And we're just going to unhide the floor and the ceiling. All right. And then we're going to press F9. And I just want this to look a certain way. So what I'm going to do is take this. I don't really want much variation here in the diffuse. So I'm going to drop that down to 20. And I'm going to come here and I'm just going to actually pick this color. And then I'm going to make that brighter. There we go. Something like that. And then what I do want to do is put this in reflection and put this in reflective glossiness. And I'm going to turn off for now because I want to see, see how those details jump through. And that's because this is fairly dark. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to take this reflection. I'm going to put this up to like 20. And I'm going to come down here and drop this down to 30. All right. I think that's good. And then what I want to do is I want to see how much of an effect my bump is having. So if I click here and just do that, you see how that looks much nicer now? See, that's nice. I like that bump. That's great. Okay, cool. Shame we're not going to really see the texture. It's a wicked texture. All right. So let's come out of isolation mode. And if you remember, we have this frame here, this window frame, and there's no texture on there. I'm just going to assign the same texture to it. Partly because I like it so much. And let's put a UV map on there. Let's put this visible. Okay. So that's it. That's my plaster material there.